Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm just going to do a short video about a couple of things that I found interesting that's going on right now that you might not be aware of. So this is a good opportunity just for you to watch this video and be more aware of what's going around in the world and what's around us. So we're going to talk about the real estate market and what's going on there. And then we're going to talk about a few other things like what the banks are doing right now. For example, if you didn't already know, they're planning to make their own digital currency. U.S. banks launch a digital dollar in the blockchain plot. Mainstream financial institutions are working with the Federal Reserve to test a digital currency platform. And they've been doing this way back since like March of 2021. Now here's what Edward has to say about the whole situation. It just begins, or it begins. According to the group, the platform will be using a distributed ledger technology, better known as the blockchain, to create opportunities to improve financial settlements and maybe transaction speeds and all that other stuff. And for those of you that don't know much about the real estate industry right now, let's go over it. Right now, I'm a real estate agent in Florida and we see a lot of new houses being made or at least where i'm around i see a lot of houses being made around here so we see inventory coming but right now there is no inventory or there's little inventory for all the people that are looking to purchase which is not many because you have interest rates going up you have layoffs happening around the world and around here so People can't just go out and buy a house if they don't have the money, if they don't have a job for the mortgage, and then also they'll be paying the high interest rates on the mortgage. So these are just a few things that are going around in the real estate industry. So just imagine this. And this is why I think the, there'll be a housing market crash in the prices. We'll see that happening soon. Here's why. Because right now we have low inventory. We have new houses being made, but they're not done yet. And who knows when they're going to be done. We have supply increasing. We have low to medium demand, as I would say. Because I'm pretty sure there's still people out there that want to buy a house as rents are going up with inflation. And the price of everything else is going up. And then there's people that are getting laid off. So putting all that together, let me know in the comments below, what do you think is going to happen to the housing market? And there's also mortgage rates that are dipping. So there's still a lot of uncertainty in the real estate market. But we're starting to put things together and things are starting to fall into place where we're seeing what's going to happen. Now, according to Freddie Mac, as of November 10th, the current average 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 7.08, the highest it's been in 20 years. Now, as you can see in Florida, the housing market is still shifting, but prices, interest rates, are, and everything's still high. And it all has to do with inflation. And if you haven't seen my inflation videos, I highly recommend you check them out or my other videos giving you warnings, giving you things you should be doing during this kind of market so you can protect your purchasing power. Now, the U.S. mortgage rates have posted the biggest drop since 1981. That says a lot. And if you want to learn about what's going to happen and what's coming soon, I highly recommend you check out my video that talks about the worst is yet to come. Mortgages um, uphill sparks about 19 billion in paper losses for U.S. banks. So why did the rates fall? Mortgage rates are impacted by the federal fund rate, which is the interest rate banks charge each other for lending out their money. When the Fed increases rate, banks borrowing costs increase too, to offset the rise in costs they increase the rates on their loans and their products. But the Fed funds rate is 
one of the many factors that are influencing mortgage rates right now. The bond market also plays an important role. Most banks do not hold mortgages, they underwrite. They package them into a product called mortgage-backed securities and sell them to investors. And since bond buyers are looking for a competitive return on their money, the interest rate on the mortgage-backed securities has to be high enough to attract buyers. The question is, is it high? Is it high enough right now? Are they attracted to it? Can they find a better place to park their money? Another critical factor could be the housing market. If home prices are too high that the buyers decide to rent instead of buy, this lowers the demand and impacts rates. This is because very few people are buying homes and rates have to drop to encourage buyers to come to the market. And like I said earlier, there's houses being made, but the inventory right now that's available, they might not like those houses. So the supply of homes has an impact too. If there's an inadequate supply, this can cause rates to increase if there's high demand. And unemployment rates also play a crucial role, like I said earlier. There is a lot of people getting laid off. Companies are cutting back on spending. They're not getting all that extra money that they were during what happened two or three years ago when people were working from home, companies were getting paid to hire employees, promote employees, and all the other stuff. I have a video about that. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. So I found this amazing article about QR codes, and I'm curious, I don't use them, and I'm a real estate agent. I'm curious on, are you guys using QR codes to contact agents, or if you're an agent, are you using them to get more buyers and sellers? Let me know in the comments below. 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, heading into the peak of the shopping season. Now that sounds a little bit crazy. So if you're one of these people, I highly recommend you start budgeting and start investing your money and start cutting back on things that you don't need and spending your money on things that you don't need because eventually you'll have a whole bunch of things that you don't need in your house. And if you're new to my channel, just make sure to hit the subscribe button because I show you different ways to invest your money. And I keep you up to date on current events. I give you educational videos. I throw a little bit of humor out there. I kind of mix and match with all my videos. So you get a little bit of everything on this channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It literally takes one second. Now, in case some of you guys missed the event, the G12 event happened recently, and a lot of interesting things happened at this event. So, if you're not aware of it, I'll leave this article in the description below. You can read about it on your own time. It has a lot of cool, interesting, and amazing things that's going around right now in the world, globally, that you might find interesting. So I'm curious on what happens with this digital U.S. dollar that's about to happen. A 12-week plot program for the digital dollar tokens. So it's about to get interesting. We're just about to find out in 13 or 14 weeks from now what the plan is for this. So the last thing for this video is Joe Biden leads a critical call for game-changing rules for cryptocurrency. After what happened to FTX and its collapse. So I'm curious on what these rules and regulations are going to be.